Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, this is uh, the lab for ethical hacking and uh, this lab actually is uh, lab number 11 and uh, it is uh, uh, it, the main theme and purpose is basically using recon ng tool or framework and uh, what we will going to use do is we're going to be using the open source uh, reconnaissance tool that is recon ng to gather personal information right as i mentioned to you in the earlier labs that uh, recon ng basically is a uh, part of an open source intelligence gathering uh, uh, toolkit or that's what it basically is part of and uh, if you don't know what is open source intelligence it is basically uh, it is a collection of uh, uh, a collection and showing of your uh, of any data which is available down there publicly available down there using uh, public resources and uh, over techniques and uh, publicly available sources as opposed to your covert or uh, uh, or uh, you know n uh, not publicly available sources i would say and it is not related to any open source software or public intelligence so just to, just to be clear you know uh, just setting the pace uh, for the lab and uh, those of you who didn't uh, uh, or uh, did not uh, join us in the last lab this is just giving a little refresher for them also right so in this lab we're going to again be using a uh, recon ng and uh, recon ng uh, uh, is a framework which i have already got you familiar with and it is run through the terminal right under uh, your uh, kali uh, kali linux and uh, so basically let's fire up kali linux and uh, i'm using uh, i'm using basically the, the version of Kali Linux uh, here and uh, this is downloaded on a on a virtual box VM and this is from uh, downloaded from op uh, offensive security side so I'm just going to launch the the terminal if you click on the, the terminal here it'll uh, it'll launch up slowly so so in this lab we're going to be talking about for me it asks always ask for the admin password uh, I mean, um, so let me just uh, get that in there because I'm running uh, a few things which need some access. So as I said, uh, we'll be we'll be uh, going through the uh, the different modules here and then understanding um, understanding uh, how to get personal information right in this uh, Recon NG lab. So and I'll show you some commands uh, to do that. Again, Recon NG is based on modules and. Uh, so first is you get the uh, get a terminal on get the get into your uh, get into the right uh, route and then you type in uh, recon ng right so uh, let's let's do that and uh, in this lab uh, the main module which we'll be using is the recon module right and to basically see uh, and uh, and uh, see the reconnaissance attacks and so forth for a target so let's first fire up recon ng by tapping in recon dash ng or recon hyphen ng and uh, it's going to shoot up and it's going to change the command prompt and get you inside the tool um, and you will come to know once it changes okay again uh, this tool is written by tim tomes and uh, he is part of uh, black hill uh, infosec just to let you know again so the recon modules the first one if you see that uh, one two three four five modules uh, listed out here the recon reporting import exploitation and discovery so we'll be basically working in the recon module right let's first go to type in workspaces and add a new workspace for this particular lab and uh, give it a friendly name you can give it any name um, try to have it as a lowercase name I would say let's give it a name uh, social uh, 27 all right and hit enter so this will create a workspace for you and uh, from a default workspace now it's changed to a social 27 workspace if you look at the the the, uh, the first line the command before the prompt right and uh, so now a few commands which i want you to know in this uh, particular module is uh, first is let's load a particular command and in this case as i said we'll be doing a recon module so let's ro load recon and uh, let's do recon uh, slash domains or backslash domains uh, dash uh, hyphen contacts and uh, let's see uh, let's try to run this so slash who is so we're going to be using who is as a as our source here um, and uh, we'll do who is uh, underscore um, let's let's get the right command here um, so goal is to get all the so 
Okay, the, we are going to basically use the POC data down here for who is. Uh, so now let's run this command. Okay, cool. So let's do show info here. And uh, show info will give us details about the, the who is a POC harvester. That is what we are using. Uh, and this basically uh, uh, uses uh, Aaron who is uh, RWS to harvest the POC data from your who is queries from a given domain. And uh, this is all the different options which I've highlighted for you. You can do a default, a string path and a query. Uh, let's try to use that for basically harvesting uh, your who is POC data. All right, uh, pretty interesting, I would say. So let's do that. So let's do get, and then we'll put source um, as uh, the first thing. Uh, and then, uh, so let's just use this command the way it is. So uh, as you see, this is a source is uh, in capital. So let's put source in caps as uh, it's asking us to do that. And uh, then as there's a space and uh, so current value is default. So our, uh, but our uh, uh, workspace is social 27. And uh, so we're gonna do source and, and then we can do uh, social27.com as the source. So now uh, it has basically added that source to the POC harvester for the who is right. So now, now just do a run command on it since we already had added a source here, and it should basically use the who is uh, POC and uh, try to get information on that particular domain which you added in, right? So and in this case, it's the social twenty seven domain. And uh, it's basically getting all the information which you needed, right? And it did not get any contacts uh, information. So, but whatever it got was the domain itself, and it uh, kind of validated that uh, using your POC, right? So now let's let's, uh, let's do another thing. Let's set uh, source to a different uh, domain name, and uh, my mind it source always needs to be in caps. It is capital. Right, and if you have any confusion, just type in show info uh, and it'll give you the information of how to use the command. Right, and uh, we're going to use a different domain, let's use cybersecurity think tank.com as, as a domain name here, and uh, then just do a run on it. So, it, and it'll get you information around that new domain name which we added in. Right, so uh, a lot of domains which are like new and which don't have much information, they don't show much around it. But again, let's uh, let's do another domain which is a little popular, which uh, we should get. You should see more information around it. And uh, well, uh, let's use one of the social networks down there. I would say um, let's use Facebook, right? Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's set uh, set. The, I just want to show you the results. What comes back here, right? Uh, let's tap and run and enter. There you go. Uh, now you can see it started doing the Facebook. It's getting more information definitely from the other domains which I was tapping in before. And it's getting in all the other network information, the OPS information. Um, so yeah, so basically it's got all the information about the operations, the the layer network ops. So it's doing that detail. Uh, the who is contact information it, it pulled that out also uh, then it, it's got you know other information about the about the different you know um, different users the the country right and then uh, <clears throat> so yeah so you got contact information is also there that that's pretty cool too and Delaware is where it is There you go. So yeah, and then it, of course Mark Zuckerberg is a big part of it, right? And uh, and uh, the official mail ID of Mark Zuckerberg is also available, right? And the domain, of course, is uh, not FB or anything. It's Facebook.com. That's where it basically refers uh, to right so to go back again as I showed you before just step in back and it'll take you one level back right and uh, and uh, 
Now you're back under your workspaces, that is the social 27 workspace which we created for this particular uh, lab in the, early, in the early parts of the lab, right? So let's look at some more more commands for recon, right? Uh, let's uh, now go to, let's do a name check, right? So first thing you do is you do a load uh, and uh, you go in and uh, go into your uh, your uh, namespaces, uh, your workspace, uh, sorry, your commands, and in this case, your recon command, well, it's load, not loan. I don't want to loan anything here. Uh, load, and then, um, let me correct that for you. And then uh, basically uh, go uh, recon, and uh, we are trying to get into uh, the different uh, uh, profiles, I would say. Recon profile, profiles, uh, dash, uh, hyphen, uh, basically is profile, then slash, name check is what we're trying to do here. So all these commands, you know, I mean, uh, the more you practice, you will uh, you will remember them more, and you can use them more uh, in your day-to-day -day reconnaissance and information gathering phases, right? And uh, important thing is make sure uh, that you spell things right, right? Uh, and uh, mine would work out to change profile, alias profiles, right? Yeah, and then you just say uh, name C H K and enter. Looks like we got some uh, spelling mistake down there. Let me just, uh, uh, okay, name, names, check, profiles, profiles, recon. And uh, you can also do search and find out, but let me just uh, correct this and see. Let me just do a quick tweak and see, like, you know, what exactly could be. Uh, okay, there you go. Instead of names, it was name. Uh, I was using an S uh, just to be, you know, I was getting carried away. All right, so next thing is you set up a few uh, few, uh, uh, few sources in here. So you uh, first thing you set a name check is source uh, here. Again, source is always in capital. And uh, then you put in a, a basically a, a name, right? And, uh, and we are putting in uh, Mark Zuckerberg in here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and let's see uh, what kind of name check it results to, right? And... Uh, and here you go, source mark Zuckerberg. And now you can do run command and now it'll go in and uh, do a name check on Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, so so basically from a person's name, it is retrieving information about a particular site, right? Uh, and there you go, it found uh, user existed in all these different uh, sites out there. So this, basically this is a reconnaissance done on a certain person. There's PayPal, Pinterest, different kinds of uh, websites where you could find this person. Uh, and sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not, so not available. So it's going in and searching on the on the basic key resources online and uh, and searching for this that particular match of the name uh, which you said which you have shared, the name uh, name value pair, and uh, getting that information out basically. So it found 41 different uh, profiles on the web, right? on the web for that person. Look at that. That is pretty interesting, right? And uh, I mean, this is basically the information gathering phase, as I said. So you can go in and search for anybody like that. Uh, who are you doing penetration testing for? Uh, if there's a company you wanna go and search for a particular user um, and, and so forth, right? But you can see all the different uh, places where his name is available, um, Techno Ready, um, 500px. Uh, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of domains out there, a lot of uh, portals, what are, uh, what are web uh, domains, I would say, public domains, where, where the information of uh, this particular name, Mark Zuckerberg, is available, right? And, uh, and you can basically, s it could be a direct match or it could not be a direct match. It just means that that entry of that particular uh, profile uh, using Recon NG exists at those particular uh, uh, particular websites, right? Okay. Now let's do one more thing. Now let's do uh, let's again load, uh, not loan. I, I don't know why I'm typing loan. <laughs> okay. So let's do load, and then uh, let's do again the recon module is what we focused on, right? So we're going to just stick to that uh, in this particular app, and let's do a recon, and uh, let's do profiles again. Profiles uh, dash or hyphen profiles. Then again, backslash, um, and then uh, we had basically done name check before this, 
and uh, I was typing in names a check so make sure you don't do uh, that mistake also but we are we're gonna do profiler here now so let's do profiler and uh, in profiler again we do the first thing we do is set a source uh, whenever we try to load a command so we do a set and then source is always capital s-o-u-r-c-e and uh, we're going to use again uh, do a profiler on Mark Zuckerberg itself because since he's a famous uh, personality public personality and also he's a co-founder of Facebook right so uh, let's do uh, Mark Zuckerberg. That's all set in the profiler. Then what you do is run, right? Pretty simple, straightforward, three-step process. Um, now we're going to check the profiler detail when we hit run. So get ready. So so now what it does is the profiler, it'll search for a username and return a match, a URL for that person. Pretty interesting, right? So wherever the domains, it's going to check the popular domains, it's going to check and re re return the the exact URL of that uh, of that uh, public uh, path or uh, of that uh, particular, uh, particular uh, match for the profile. That's the profiler tool. So this is one step further than your trace, which uh, command which you used before. So we could first find, okay, this person is existed in 40, 41 properties across the web. Now you want to also know the URLs to that, right? Because you want to basically go and check and see if that, that's the right one or not. So now and using the profiler, when it comes down to recon ng, is where you can go in and see exactly where that person exists where that profile is on the web and use that link or URL uh, to, uh, to basically get to the data which you're trying to get to. All right, so, all right, so a couple of things down here to remember is that, you know, when you're dealing with the recon ng and the steps, you know, for uh, getting information, you need to make sure that, you know, you, you have, you're using the right commands, right? So like as we did the name check command, it gave you a certain set of information, right? And then uh, then you could, you know, go further into and do the profiler command and get like much more information that is like, you know, the links and so forth, right? So uh, so running into commands, making making use of commands, those are some of the key things which you need to, uh, which, which you need, need to be very well aware of, right? All right. Uh, so also, uh, also the the URLs which you, which you get, those are like very valid, of course. And then the run command is always to be used when you're trying to trying to run a particular uh, profile name check or something like that. And that gives you a good understanding about how you uh, mine a certain set of information. All right. Uh, and then uh, other things which uh, so we got like you know a lot of matches down here. So now you. So profiler is uh, is another thing. Uh, an another way to look at information. Let's look at another recon way. Um, so you can you can you can actually get different ways, different views uh, while using different uh, prof uh, different commands. Uh, so let's do a back and then let's go to. Uh, now you're done with profiler. Let's load another recon command, right? So you do uh, recon and then let's do reporting this time. So let's do load reporting and uh, backslash and uh, do HTML and uh, hit enter. And uh, now you have your uh, reporting module, which you have not been seen in the past. So, so you can read reports down here, basically. And uh, you can read uh, different kinds of reports uh, about, you know, how, how, what, what all information you have you have done, uh, especially with the personal information, right? And uh, reporting is uh, a pretty uh, key element for uh, for a particular uh, particular uh, site, I would say, right? So, so you can you can get a lot of information uh, while doing uh, while looking at your profiles, while doing name check, while doing reports. So, so these these kind of techniques are pretty good for you to know and uh, to understand uh, how you can uh, do reconnaissance on a particular target, how you can get personal information on a particular target, and how you can use that data for uh, for your uh, for your information gathering phases. Right? Okay. Uh, well, I hope uh, you had uh, you had a you had a great time going through this uh, particular lab, and uh, I will uh, see you in the next lab. All right, thanks for joining.